Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is very very important and interesting topic that is Kitchup's law. Okay, so Ohm's law is useful in dealing with simple electrical circuits only. The study of the circuits containing more than one source of EMF becomes difficult with the help of Ohm's law. In 1842, Kirchhoff put forward the following two laws to study complicated electrical circuits. Kirchhoff's first law. It states that the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a point in an electrical circuit is always zero. It is called junction's rule. The law is based upon the fact that in an electrical circuit, a point can neither act as a source of charge nor the charge can accumulate at the point. So the law is based upon the fact that electrical circuit in an electrical circuit a point can neither act as a source of, of charge. Must remember this is the not act as a source of charge nor the charge can accumulate at the point. So explanation consider According to Kachchoff blue rule, consider a point O in an electrical circuit. At which current I1, I2, I4, I5 are flowing through five conductors in the direction. Let us adopt the following sign convention. The current flowing in a conductor towards the function of conductors is taken as positive and the current flowing away from the junction is taken as negative. Likewise, currents I1 and I4 flowing towards the point O are positive. Well, while the current I2, I3 and I5 are negative. Therefore, according to Kirchhoff's first law, I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I4 minus I5 equals to 0. Okay. So, Kirchhoff's second law, it states that in any closed part of an electrical circuit, the algebraic sum of, sum of the EMFs is equal to the algebraic sum of the products of the resistance and currents. Following through them, it is also called loop rule. The law is based upon the law of conservation of energy. So friends, it is it has also explanation but I think that I will discuss a problem with respect to explanations that it is clear for everyone. What is the say? It says that the algebraic sum of the EMFs is equal to the algebraic sum of the product of the resistance and current following through them. It is called also called loop rule. So we are going to discuss example. In a Houston bridge, the four resistance arms of the bridge are AB 2 ohm, BC 3 ohm, CD 4 ohm, DA equal to 1 ohm. A cell of EMF 2 volt and negligible internal resistance is connected across AC and a galvanometer of resistance 10 ohm is connected between B and D. Find the current through the galvanometer. So this is a galvanometer, okay, I hope it is plus, it is minus, and you see the current flow this way, okay, and for the first closed part is ABDA of a circuit, let's see, let's, you will see that R is equal to 1 ohm, okay, 
according to the questions r is equal to 1 1 1 1 and i u minus i 1 because i is charge okay and this is the i so it is it, it is two part this is the i minus y i 1 so it, this is i 1 okay this is positive and this is negative and this is i into i 1 plus g okay i will you can understand because how it is because this is the i1 and this is ig and this is ig ig direction is this way so i i minus i1 plus ig and this is i1 minus g because i1 direction is this way and galvanometer G is, is equal to 10 ohm according to the questions and IG this is the IG and this is D and this is I1. I1 is going this way so IG is this way so it is I1 minus IG and I1 the this is the Kirchhoff first law okay what is the Kirchhoff first law? Kirchhoff first law says that Kirchhoff's law first law says that it states that the algebraic sum of the current meeting at a point is an electrical circuit is always zero. So this is the algebraic sum of the closed circuit. Closed circuit is it say the okay meeting meeting at a point. So Kirchhoff's first law I use so it is I minus Y1 so it is I1 it is I minus Y1 it is I. So if I can add then it is zero, and this is the Kirchhoff's second rule, rule, algebraic sum of the products of resistance. So it is the product of the resistance with current, okay, product of resistance and currents. So it is the zero. So you can you can see see this 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 closed loop. This is the A B A B D A A B D A is a closed loop. This is, here is B, okay, here is also B, and Putting the value p is equal to 2, i1 into 2, ig is equal to 10 and i minus i1 is equal to 1. So 3 i1 minus 10 ig minus i equals to 0. So for the closed part b c d b, b c d b, b is in here, okay. So you get this equation and e is equal to 2 volt, okay and b is this so i minus ig into q i minus i1 because bcd ig into i minus ig into q i minus i1 plus g into 4 and ig into g so this point is b now it is clear this is the a b a b d a and this point is b c d b so i hope you can understand and please write everything and draw this circuit then you can understand so i get this equation and for the closed part a b c y x a of the circuit we have i1 into p i1 minus i g into q is equal to e and we get this equation and after simplifications i get this value and from the equation 1, we have 3i1 plus 10ig equals to i. And from the equation 2, substituting, we get this value, i value. I just, from equation I get value i and I am putting the value of i in equation 2. So, I get this value and simplify, I get this value and I get this value. And from the equation 3 and 3, I get ig equals to ig equals to minus 1 by 30 ampere and minus is sign so current flows d to b okay current direction will be changed i hope it is clear for clear for everyone and thank you for watching if you get any confusion please ask me